Yo, Racket, I want to ask you something. Since when did you morph into a Gadgetron vendor? <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, Klaus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Racket and Clank. Last time, we got our brand new Helipack upgrade for Clank. This time, well, we're going for... Captain Quark, quote unquote. Let's let him pretend. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. <coughs> Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that. <clears throat> Just possibly an injury incurred while well, battling evil. Oh, I'm so bad. Clank impression is bad. Oh my god. Uh, I apologize to all fans of Clank. I mean, I'm even sorry to myself there. That I I just love Clank that much. Seriously, that that line was just golden. <clears throat> Anyway, this is a mission that's meant to teach you about wall jumping and punching junk, uh, jump slots. But I do have a minor issue with this. And it's when the tutorial comes up. I mean, just to prove my point, I will temporarily turn help desk on. Just to hammer home my point as to this. This is, it's a, more of a why kind of moment. <clears throat> but for now, it's just, um... <clears throat> zip line array down there, which really is... Can't be good for the ranch. I mean, I, I, I can just easily see that just eating away at the metal, just... <clears throat> the ranch getting weaker and weaker as a result and ultimately breaking, because that would happen in real life. Unless it's one of those built to last kind of thing, and yeah, if you, you can clearly see something here. Yeah, that's not being very subtle. Yeah, I turned on help desk only for that specific reason. Yeah, it's only there you get the tutorial. Or wall jumping. You don't get it on Novellus. You don't get it at the start of the fitness course. No, you get it there of all places. When you get to these moving walls, it is kind of dumb. And okay. <clears throat> for those who don't know, don't know how to do the wall jumps legitimately. You have already figured it out by the time you get to that tutorial trigger. In which case it's rendered useless. Just, I don't get it. I don't like what they did there. I'll say, <clears throat> you want to glide your way down here. The reason you want to glide is, well, gee, I wonder... You get a gold bolt. Right here. I'm waiting for ya. Gold bolt acquired. Very, very nice. Also, going back to classic house rays, just <clears throat> use the wrench for specific for nothing but breaking crates. 
Since I need this character to drawn weaponry for combat. But we will need to take this taxi there. And I will see you at the top structure in the second island of fitness course. Okay, back up to where we were. Which was quite literally at the end. Cause that over there. Meat. <laughs> okay. This. <clears throat> Piggy wig. Is seriously Captain Quark. Fitness trainer. Let that sink in. Listen up, you long balls. That was the most pathetic display <coughs> I have ever seen on that obstacle course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Eek, weak. When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. That, that's not all. If it were up <coughs> to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool, Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot so you can say to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay! But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. <clears throat> Give me a little credit, Helga! I had to... Seriously? No. I had to steer from the obstacle course to get collectibles. You know what it is. You know how it is for us gamers. I mean, come on. I, I know that's regular for us all, but still. And yeah, that is actually her name. Helga. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can sing without silly boys like that. The two of you make me sick. Here's a Helga, look at your build and say that again. Real men can uh, sing about silly toys like that. <laughs> I want to see you do it. So the swing shot, those are the rest of the targets there is what you need it for. And yes, this is, yes, this, but yeah, yeah, this is a required mission. As you will actually need this in order to actually progress. You'll get into that later. Now. Woo! Get some more damage on my wrench. Hooray! We don't need this whatsoever. Also, <clears throat> you're gonna want to remember this thing for, well, later, as there's a skill point involving that thing. The, uh, cork bot. There's another thing I should be. Yes, right there. There's even a Captain Cork blimp. <clears throat> kind of a nice detail, actually. But for now, I say we go to Planet Aradia. As there's one more mission I kind of want to end this on. <clears throat> Now we go to planet Iridia. That mission is right behind where we land. 
Make him play sucked up. Okay, good. Your little bomb club is not gonna do us any good. I. What am I saying? Yes, it will. Not with the mission itself, but you'll see. For now, here is Kid McMarks himself. It's him, Kid McMarks. That man from the info box. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay. But I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, <coughs> we just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... One of your boards? Hmm. Well, he's wanted a decent hoverboard. Well... Alright, you just keep that foot elevated. <laughs> okay, honestly, that's kind of one thing I seriously miss being advocated for. Hard work should always be rewarded. You don't put in the hard work, you don't get squats. Seriously, we, I, all I see are Democrats just demanding free shit for nothing. It's ridiculous! Uh, anyway, this much in here. This is what I recommend buying the Parasector for. It is really good for this mission. These sand sharks. These guys will... Uh, well, they tend to just kind of circle you, or circle around you. Now, what's good about the Parasector is that you can just spin, spin in circles and it'll cover areas around you. It's... Excellent for that reason alone. Plus, its ammo is actually pretty cheap, so it's yeah, it's big good for the price. I'm gonna take out these um. <clears throat> Sand shark nests. <clears throat> yeah, that's seriously there for the name, just sand shark nests. They're basically your. Endless spawners of sand sharks. Which is. It can make decent enough. Uh, crime tactic? That is, if we go to the last portion of this and. Don't take out the sand, sand shark nests. Now, if you go over here and. Yeah, specifically over here. This is kind of where you need to go. Anyway, check out the sand, sand shark nests. You need to not only take out the sand, sand sharks, but also the start of the spawning point. But if you throw a bomb there, you have access to yet another gold bolt. There's, there's ammo at the end of this tunnel as well, so you might as well. Very, very, very nice. I gotta say this as well, like, for doing last plays and stuff, I don't like autosave. I mean, if you're playing with, if you're playing casual playthroughs, it is a godsend, you know, like, you don't have to do a lot again. But kind of one thing I don't like about autosave and the fact that you can't turn it off is when something could go wrong during the recording, you can't do that again, and it's basically gone forever at that point. But this is that one point I was talking about, you know, like having a grind spot for bolts. Keep getting endless um, sand sharks and thus keep getting more and more bolts out of these guys. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing any kind of bolt grinding strategy. I just kind of want to point out where specific points where you can do that if that tickles your fancy. Now oh, I'm going to make sure I comb all these um, bolts that I cultivated. cultivated. So there you are, you old slugger. Here, man. Catch. Oh, 
brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. <laughs> Perhaps we will. Perhaps we will. <clears throat> we got the awesome brand new Z3000! So awesome to say. Not as awesome to say. Have a port. I don't know. It's just. Something cool, I guess. But since we got the Z3000, hoverboard. We pulling things off here. Next time on Let's Play Wreck and Clank, we will. I guess take care of the other missions here as well. And see if we can find Skid's agent because remember, both of them crash landed here. See you guys then.